I pay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I paste them on there, and I can see the margins in this exposure, so I use that to mask the fins. Now, um, you know, I don't know. That's, is that wrong? Uh, again, probably. <laughs> probably. But the thing is, is that, you know, I could have left it just as this, and probably just photoshopped out that little, my little scale by there, which ended up down there. But, uh, and then, you know, you look at that shot and you're like, well, I can't really see the fins, otherwise it's a good shot. Or you can try and make an improvement on that. And these, this fin is true to the, to the fin in the specimen. This is a true fin. It's just not true to this particular, you know, uh, yeah. It's a composite. It's a composite. Yeah, thank you. It's a composite. It's a chimera. Oh. Mm -hmm. Huh? Just 
store all the images as they come in. You don't try and organize them at all. That, that works. I like this better. And again, it's because for this, for, for projects over the course of like years, students, students go, volunteers come and go, even your interest in the project waxes and wanes. And so the idea to be able to pick up where you left off, this helps me do that. And basically what I got is a, a folder of images, fish, these are all the images with ants. And then these are the five the images. They pertain to a lot. So it's kind of like going into your collection and this is a jar instead of a, a you know, instead of, instead of, these are organized like jars in your collection. That's the most intuitive thing to do. So if I open up one of these jars, in there are all of the images associated with that lot. All the originals, all the modified ones, and the ones that are going on the internet, and the ones that are, the originals don't, they just sit in my original batch, right? So uh, I just like this because you know, somebody, somebody um, I don't know, I, for me, this, does anybody else do imaging like this, to, to store them like this? Maybe everybody does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it just, it just makes more, it just, it's more intuitive. And again, you can, all of these images are of a fish in that lot. And I can go to my collection, ANSP this, you know, I got my database and I can actually pull it out. Um, and then also we, take images at other museums, and those are organized the same way with their uh, catalog numbers. And then here's the originals again. These are all my different exposures. These are all my pure images, the ones I haven't messed with. Um, okay, they're all stored there. And then here are the two that are being broadcast onto the internet via our database. You've got these two right here at this level, these both have unique identifiers. So if anybody wanted to ask the question, well, how much did Mark mess with that photograph? You know, they could go here and they can see which one I used and how I tweaked it uh, in what ways. Uh, also, we serve up images of field sites this way. The field sites are just a field folder. The expedition is a unique identifier, the locality. And then here are the different sites, the field numbers for the individual sites. And again, those are the things that are being served up. And then there's last in the 2B catalog, a folder for that. All of the images that are in the process of being edited or doctored or whatever, they're sitting in there, and then people come in with their initials, and they're, you can tell that Kyle, or no, Amanda Lavity took those images, and Kyle Luckenbill is in the process of editing them, editing them. So I'm keeping track of both the photographer and the editors, because they both do, um, they might be different people, and they both do a lot of work. And then these images are, are in our database. Um, we, you can search our collection, you get that icon. It's linked to a bunch of images uh, by Amanda in this case. Then you click on one of those and you get the full resolution image. Um, then you can also sort by taxonomically in our database, or you can uh, by locality. So these are all fish map and map. And then those localities will link, those locality lists will link out to the to So is that a fully, fully big locality record? I mean, you've got uh, geo-reference in there. We're, we're, I, the, well, that high? I think our collection is 40% geo-referenced. Uh -huh. And then uh, we just, we're working with Nelson and, um, and Hank to get it 100% geo-referenced. So, um, so yeah, in a couple of years, we should be 100% geo-referenced. Camera, all that. 
Is there a way to retrofit a camera with no. that? No. Just a side note, that's exit data on the image, but there's some software when you modify it, you can strip it. So you have to be careful yeah. about what you use and use it. But when you're making, especially when you're making web derivatives. Oh, okay. But Photoshop should yeah. strip it out. Well, I don't like to doctor my image. <laughs> Anyways, 
protected uh, 